Hi, what do you Jacob here? Today we're looking at a Pogi Enterprises or a Pogi company 49 of our uh, generic stock screener, ticker symbol APOG. It looks like they're in the building products industry, 1.4 billion market cap and enterprise value. They provide architectural products and services for enclosing buildings, glass, and acrylic products used for, used for preservation, protection, enhancing views in the U.S., Canada, and Brazil. Very, very solid numbers here on the growth side. You're looking at about mid to upper single digit revenue growth CAGR of the last 10 years, return on invested capital averaging in the mid teens. And we're looking at also an increasing operating margin, increasing gross margin. So good positive signs there. Balance sheet has 37 million cash in hand. So very small, but only 35 million. Zero short term debt, starting with looking on 62 million long term debt. So you're going to about 25 million net debt, and they produce, again, the last week I said, I think that QuickFS has some errors here. I think this other line is their capital expenditures line. So they produce, at least in the last five years, average more than $100 million a year, which is more than what their current long-term debt is. So we're definitely not concerned about their balance sheet. Good production of free cash flow, reinvesting a little bit back in themselves. Their dividend currently paying out roughly 20% of their free cash flow. It's a 1.5% yield. The rest of their money um, going towards share base um, or stock repurchases. They've also been reducing debt quite a bit recently, but they're really doing the two main things to give money back to shareholders, buying back shares, paying uh, a dividend. So that's, that's, that's good and positive there. So let's, let's start making some assumptions here. I think we're ready. Nothing too crazy here. So, Revenue growth, I think, will probably stay in that mid-single digit range. Let's go 5%. Let's say 15 on the P price free cash flow, relatively in line with market average there. I do like that free cash flow margin is quite a bit higher. So maybe we'll do 5 and 6%. Share change, they have been buying back shares. 1% would be about 15 million. Offset side risk compensation, about 25 million. So maybe 40 million, that'd be about 2%. I think that sounds reasonable to me. Uh, their dividend currently paying out roughly 20, 25% of their yield uh, or of their free cash flow. I think I'm pretty comfortable increasing that in line with their revenue growth. And then we get to a final number that still needs, the price of the company still needs to fall 47% before you get the return I'm looking for here. I think that, you know, I'm, I'm looking at good numbers here. Great increasing margins, good positive revenue growth, and good return on invested capital, but it still just looks a tad expensive for me at this price. I definitely want to get it a little bit cheaper, but a great company wanted to add to the list, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.